ammonia is the best choice and there, there will not be any other game changer. Yeah, I'm Michael Kaufeld. I'm a professor at the Karlsruhe University of Applied Sciences. You can go back to this uh, investigation from the National Institute of Standards and Technology where they compared 60 million different chemicals and the number one fluid was ammonia. The difference between uh, natural refrigerants and uh, synthetic refrigerants is that the natural refrigerants uh, have been around or the, the same molecules have been around for millions of years in nature. When changing to ammonia, the planet would gain a lower contribution to global warming because the energy efficiency is higher and the global warming potential of ammonia is zero. And also the manufacturing CO2 emissions uh, of ammonia are much lower than the manufacturing CO2 emissions for synthetic refrigerants. And in terms of cost, um, some of the systems of natural refrigerants have a higher initial cost, maybe 10%, 20% higher, but uh, the service cost afterwards is much cheaper because you don't have to leak check the system four times a year as you have to do with some of the larger systems with HFCs. Yeah, the return of investment uh, for some of the systems with natural refrigerants is within a year, two years. If you go with ammonia as refrigerant, you will not have to replace the system because there are no unknown environmental threats with ammonia. So you will not damage the ozone layer, you will not contribute to global warming, and you will not produce trifluoridic acid damaging the, the water. So you can use the ammonia system in 10 years, and in 20 years, and 30 years. And most ammonia systems are designed to last for decades.